All right, come on in. Hit the like button. Think about subscribing if you haven't already. And if you are new here, welcome to my channel. So this is my personal opinion and review for The Pale Blue Eyes. A horror mystery release date in theaters is December 23rd, 2020, USA. Released on Netflix as a, a Netflix original, and they're the providers of this. Was on January 6, 2023. Uh, runtime is two hours and eight minutes. The director is Scott Cooper, and here's some of the cast. All right, welcome back. Here's the plot. Veteran detective August, August uh, Lander investigates a series of grisly murders with the help of a young candidate who will eventually go on to become the world-famous author Al Edgar Allan Poe. And because this is around Ellen Edgar Poe, I got what I was expecting when it came to the dark-looking and depressing feel of the film. As annoying as the character was to me, I thought they did a great job on the casting of Edgar Allan Poe, along with the wardrobe. Who, however, I noticed the mustache wasn't there. My guess is that was because face uh, face hair wasn't allowed in the U.S. military in 1830. Honestly, I don't know more about that time period, so I'm kind of guessing. That that's what it was. Um, I, I just kind of left my mind of the history, my history of uh, facial hair and slash military of that, because there was a definitely a time period where I think around War One they had facial hair, but then because of the gas mass, they stopped doing that. Which still today, even though it's been proven by the special ops of today that you can have facial hair. And that stuff with modern gas masks. But that's more of a side kind of going off topic here. Um, so I don't really know the, the exact history of that Pacific one off the top of my head at the moment. Harry Millings did a great job as portraying Edgar Allan Poe. From everything I've seen about him over the years. Uh, asking what... Now, when I mean him, I mean the Edgar Allan Poe as in general. They had a lot of cameos or whatever you call them and kind of shout outs kind of things over the years. Always, you know, like Animaniacs and stuff like that. And obviously Wednesday thing. But there was a lot of them over the years. So uh, acting was good from everyone. For me personally, the story was a slow burning. I uh, didn't love it, but didn't hate it. Because it's a pure dramatic period piece novel type of story it definitely not my type of film but here's my personal rating so first off what did you guys think let me know in the comments below i personally wasn't a big fan from an entertainment point of view but i can see certain types of people liking this a lot more than me uh, I personally need some action or some suspense to like even a little bit to keep me interested. But that's just that's pretty much me and each their own to whatever one likes, and everyone's gonna like the same thing. So, yeah, I don't know when I'm gonna have something else out, um, but uh, yeah, uh, hit the bell icon so you can find out. Um, but I, remember, I love you all. Please stay safe. Stay healthy and school.